Okay, it's another morning dog vlog. Well, today is not a Sunday morning, it's a Saturday. But, uh, yeah, I'm just taking the time, it's nice. We've had terrible rain in the last few days. Well, not terrible, but we've had a lot of rain. And it's not been very fun. Yeah, so I'll start off by giving some apologies for probably not answering uh, so quickly not commenting so quickly on your videos uh, real life once again is taking over terribly busy work is not always taking turns for the best which means that one really has to be on the ball and uh, YouTube didn't help either I mean I had um, my quick list where I basically keep all the vids that I still want to look and watch and uh, there was a oh my goodness over 40 in there still that I had to look at and uh, I uh, came in one evening and uh, it said quickly zero which of course was not the case uh, so I'm gonna try and backtrack but uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll actually be able to make it but I, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying I'm doing my best so be a bit patient I mean uh, I know you all are and I know you all know that uh, Real life does have to take precedence. Well, anyway, that's it for for that little complaint. Actually, it's one of these complaints I think we are all making lately. So, what's up now? What would be the topic for today? Well, today's topic actually, uh, I was thinking about that, and I was wondering, well, what do I want to chat about? And uh, it's 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 a follow-up of a topic actually that has been coming up on and off. On a lot of the vids it's about family children and so on and then the, I was thinking about the emptiness now we're, we're not in an emptiness situation yet but it's getting really close I mean uh, one boy is going to be 21 the other one's 18 going on 19 uh oh gonna move around well I'll show you some again you, you've been here before it's a nice place to walk Mr. Dago is not cooperating. Okay, well, one advantage is I'll have to just a minute now. Oh no, where he's done it, I'll have to cut off and come back again. See you in a bit. Okay, well, we're back here. And yeah, I was talking about the emptiness. Well, the thing is, is that uh, we are getting there, as I was saying. I mean, when we have children that are that age, except that the thing with the children that age is that they are, um, at least in my case, they're, they're still at school. Um, and the system being relatively different here, uh, they're not in university or anything yet, they're still in what they call college. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And so what happens is that, um, yeah, I mean, we've got the advantage, I would say, of having uh, most of the schools in town. Which, uh, for them at least, means that they can stay at home. And for myself, actually, means that uh, I don't automatically... Uh, I don't automatically have to, uh, you know, uh, see like helping them out for an apartment or something like that. But uh, there's a flip coin to that: is that uh, it's not that there aren't any uh, jobs for students, but there are a lot. Actually, there's a lot less than uh, when I used to know uh, how it was, at least in my time in, in Canada. And the other thing is that the fact is that we are. Um, we are in a, in a town where there's university and and so on is that there actually are a lot of students so there is for the few that are there there's a lot of competition so, so they get a they get a small summer job but they don't get much going as far as earnings in, in the in the school year and to be maybe a bit a bit frank on their side is as I mean the <clears throat> they need the time and time for studying. They, it doesn't always come that easily. 
So, yeah, that means that uh, uh, I'm still financing a lot of, of their activities. Now, about the emptiness, I guess that, I mean, the word kind of says it. If you just say it quickly, it means emptiness. Emptiness. Yeah, when you're a relatively nuclear family, like our, ourselves, I mean, and isolated in the sense is that we've left the country over to, well, you see, in 1985, so 24 years ago. And, um, well, yeah, you've got friends, you've built bonds, so you kind of got, like, something that's very close to a family here, but it's not, it's not quite the same. So, I mean, the day that the, the, day the boys will leave home, uh, and the, the house will actually be emptiness, and the emptiness, we will certainly feel it. I just... Thank God that uh, my wife and I are very close and uh, that we, like I said, that we do have friends, that we have hobbies and that we like being together because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that moment. It's actually one of the things I fear. Um, I love coming home, even if it's just for a few minutes to see them. Of course, I mean, I see them less and less i mean you know it is as they as they age as they get on as they age and as they get on i mean they have their own friends they have their girlfriends and so on and then so they they're very busy aren't they i mean they would certainly much rather spend time i was the same wasn't i much rather spend time with with another person that's close, be it a girlfriend, for example, then probably with mom and dad. But uh, that is life, and it's actually very healthy. The only thing is I'm wondering, <laughs> be on the flip side of this, is that the fact is, compared to my own life, where, I mean, I had to work through my studies and so on, and I basically had to, uh, is, you know, like... How will they feel making the jump? Um, they've probably not had, I fault there I suppose as well quite a bit, they've not had that chance maybe to become so financially independent. And well, I mean like all of us, they'll just do it, won't they? Okay, this is a bit of a, a rant as well. You know, I, I would like to, see the minute's getting on here, so. I would like to hear comments from you that have been through the em emptiness. Uh, tell me, tell me how how you uh, how you how you felt it and how how you coped with it. I mean, any bit of wisdom is always good to hear, and I'd like that. Okay, so I might have some other things to say later on this weekend, but for the moment, I'll say that that's DC and Dago signing off. Take care.